Hello everyone, today we are going to have a new unit in time for English for primary 6 and its title is Status Around the World. Today's conversation is an interview between Layla Romi and Captain Marwa. Layla and Romi are writing for their school newspaper. They want to discover more about Captain Marwa's work as a female pilot. Interviewing a pilot. Open your book, page 19, and you have one minute to read the conversation. Now, after reading the conversation, we have some new uh, expressions like we'd like to, we'd like to. We say it when we have an offer to someone and we have this question too. Could we ask you a few questions? Could we ask you a few questions? We use it to uh, ask in a polite way. We have also go ahead, go ahead, that means to continue or to do some work, work for, work for, that means to work for a company or uh, a person, overseas flight, overseas flight, that means to travel abroad or to go all across an ocean, by yourself, by yourself, that means to do work on your own, thanks for your time, thanks for your time, that means that you end the conversation in an, a nice way, my pleasure, my pleasure, this is the response to anyone say to you, thank you. Okay. It's time to know some new setters around the world. This is in page 20. Now we have these setters like Rome, Rome, Cairo, Cairo, Tokyo, Tokyo, London, London, Seoul, Seoul, New York City, New York City, Paris, Paris, Honolulu, Honolulu, San Francisco, San Francisco, Hong Kong, Hong Kong. Now we have new structure for this unit, which is the question word when, to show the time, like this example, when did he go to Paris? When did he go to Paris? He went in June. He went in June. And we use N before any uh, month, like June, December. We use the preposition in. How long? How long? To show the period of time. Like this example. How long was she there? How long was she there? She was there for two days. She was there for two days. And we use the preposition for before a period in the question how long. Now let's practice together some questions in page 22. The first one, we have this example. You Hong Kong. You Hong Kong. So the first question that we have, when did you go to Hong Kong? When did you go to Hong Kong? The answer, I went in April. I went in April. The second question, how long were you there? How long were you there? The answer, I was there for one week. I was there for one week. Number two, we have he, Paris. And the answer should be in December and for three days. The first question, will be, when did he go to Paris? When did he go to Paris? He went in December. He went in December. The second question, how long was he there? How long he was, sorry, how long was he there? And the answer is, he was there for three days. He was there for three days. Number three, she talk you. She talk you. And the answer should be in June and for two weeks. The first question, 
When did she go to Tokyo? When did she go to Tokyo? She went in June. She went in June. How long was she there? How long was she there? She was there for two weeks. She was there for two weeks. Okay, let's move to the next page, page 23. We have the, com uh, the comprehension that we have it here. You have one minute to read it. Well, we have some new uh, vocabulary like million, million, and most excited, most excited, jazz, statue of liberty, statue of liberty, department store, department store, tours, available, available daily, and rent, rent. Now, let's move to the questions. The first question is, how many museums are there in New York City? How many museums are there in New York City? The answer is, there are 150 museums there. 150 museums there. The second question is, why do people visit New York City? The answer, because it's one of the most exciting places. Number three, what kinds of tours are available? The answer, there are three kinds of tours, walking, boat, and bus tours. Number four, what is the big apple? What is the big apple? The answer, it's New York City. It is New York City.